my friends, it is uh, coming up on spring, and every spring I have a battle to fight, a war to win against the ants. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there's a couple there. A couple ants there. They're starting to come in. There's a couple ants there. Oh, yes. Those little spray bottles is what I had left over from the past couple years, and I don't know if it's, the batteries are dead and like the spray wants, so I gotta transfer them over and, you know, spray. I'm just taking care of things here during the whole thing. Yep, works. Whoa, this thing works way better than the uh, included one. Holy cow, that little battery operated pump sprayer. The downside is, you go through this stuff a lot quicker. I gotta be careful because I gotta do the house, but this might be quicker than I thought. Now, don't let this beautiful weather fool you. Oh, come over here. There we go. The sun is out and it looks nice, but it's so chilly right now. It's so chilly. I just wanna be outside, dude doing like, you know, yard stuff. But we got a couple more days of chilly weather and then we get, I mean, it's not like summer, but it's at least 60. I gotta clean my hands. Okay. You know, I'm not one into, you know, real big into country music, but Luke Combs just released a song he wrote, uh, kind of inspired by this whole situation that we're going on across the world. It's called Six Feet Apart. It's a banger. It's really good. Babe, have you heard it? Hmm, <laughs> what? Luke Combs' new song? No. You should listen to it. Are you, is your neck flaring again? Yeah. You got the sciatic thing going? The sciatics, yeah, this is my neck. <laughs> it hurts. You want me to hammer it out again? I got the hammer. Yeah. And, and some oil massage, some <laughs> Some little circles. Quick oil lesson. Babe, while you're face down, explain this. Look, mm -hmm. we have a little bit of, of an oil mixture here, right? Mm -hmm. And it is made up of the essential oil from doTERRA, Deep Blue. This is the Deep Blue. You can't see it, it's not focused, but trust me, that's what that is. And coconut oil. Why do you use coconut oil? The coconut oil is a carrier oil. Um, it helps like dilute the oil because it's high grade, so strong. Deep blue is a combination of wintergreen leaf, camp four bark oil, peppermint, blue tansy flower oil, blue chamomile flower oil, helichrum flower oil, and osmavis flower extract <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff in there it's kind of like a bengay oh like you know bengay is like a tissue type she was feeling a lot better a lot more limber mm -hmm. but it's not getting better it's coming back and i think well, i slept on it wrong again last night maybe you should just not sleep i'm gonna hammer it out and then I'm going to rub that special potion on there and see if we can't get this feeling better. Oh my gosh. Can you see the screen without looking too much? Without moving? No. Oh my gosh. That looks amazing. It's like it's in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> That is freaking me out. Oh what, what did it look like on a different speed? Oh my god.
What's that on? Two. Two? Yeah. That's it. That's it. My mouth is moving in real time, but that hammer looks like it's moving in slow motion. It's not in slow motion. This is me moving my hand normally. Echo, go get the ball. That is the coolest thing I have ever seen. It's almost like that helicopter clip. You know, have you ever seen someone record a helicopter taking off? Mm -hmm. And then the helicopter blades look like they're perfectly still. It's because you find that perfect frame rate. It matches the revolution of the helicopter blades. That's kind of what, we didn't freeze motion here, but we slowed it down essentially. This is at 24 frames. That's awesome. Okay, how'd I do? It's good. Real good? Because now my hands are... Oh, it smells good. It does smell good. Okay, it's my turn. <laughs> Get him, Liza. Uh, I tweeted earlier today that I wanted you guys to reply with some of the things that you do to keep yourself busy during the uh, stay-at-home ordeal. So go over to my Twitter and find that tweet and let me know because I want to make a funny video. I want to, I want to uh, overly dramatize some of those things. What do you think? What's something that you like to do to keep busy right now? Play with me. Play with daddy? That's, yeah. Dads are good at keeping the kids busy. While I'm engaged in board games and playtime, Bronca's making one of my favorite things ever. What are you making? What are you making? Chicken Alfredo roll up. That's the ticket, babe. Chicken Alfredo roll ups. You got your chicken, you got your lasagna noodles, but it's not like lasagna. It's something better. It's one of my favorite meals. I could eat half of the tray that she makes. Half of it, myself. We gotta be, we gotta be, uh, what's the word? Uh, What's the word? My mind just went blank. You probably saw it go blank just then. Conservative! Yes! Oh, come on. I have so much scrap wood. Like, I've had a lot of this scrap wood for a long time. I gotta be able to do something with it. There's gotta be something I can build. If you remember, this is this is the top, uh, like the bar top that used to be on the other side of the wall in the office. As you can see, it's all like split up and it's, it's very, I tried to fix it once before and it all just came back apart. I'm not the best person to try and remedy that. I don't really, I've tried and it's, I put so much glue on there and it just came back apart. Part of me thinks that I should just burn it, I don't know. I don't have a, a joiner or a planer over here to be able to fix that. That would be one project I'd love to work on, but I do have an idea to get my workstation, like my, my workbench. I wanna get this, uh, I have pegboard that I'd love to put above that bench, which also needs cleaned up. Look, this place got thrashed when we brought Terry's stuff in here. All my stuff just kind of got pushed over to one side. And, um, it's taken a year for it to become quite this messy. I'm going to try and get this garage, not only into a space that I can work on things and build stuff, but a play zone as well. Yeah, I just, uh, I think we're gonna try and, I gotta get rid of that too. I don't even need it. That water tank we were using for uh, washout bin. All this stuff has got to go. Who remembers this quad right here? Oh man, this quad. Whew. As far as I know, it still runs, but it, the battery is a certain type that needs like a trick, a trickle charger. Our trickle charger broke. So there's the battery and then the carburetor on that thing just kept falling apart. The top of it would unscrew, which made the throttle stick. 
If you're riding it, the throttle will stick wide open because the cap on the top of the carburetor would come off. So it would just be wide open and then we'd have to use the kill switch to kill the engine. It's just not, not very safe. Only once was I able to find the right carburetor for that and I've replaced it and that carburetor did the same thing. So that's why that four wheeler has been, uh, you know, kind of decommissioned for a while. I have low expectations of ever getting that fully fixed again. <laughs> <laughs> the Rona. I'm fine. I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Honey, check my temperature. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll have to do dishes later. But look, I want you guys to hang out with Mango for a sec. Mango, party bird. You always get sketched out by the camera. Let's see what happens. What do you do, Mango? What do you do? As far as birds go, he's pretty chill. Uh, he doesn't do anything crazy. He doesn't scream profanities or yell at you. He just, he's just cool. He just chills out on your shoulder, Mommy. plays with your ear. Mommy. I catch him all the time in his cage doing this throughout the day. He'll just hang from the top. He's a pretty bird. Yeah. Oh, scratch it. Leo. 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 Yo, Dennis is getting on. Dennis, say what's up to the vlog. What up? What up? What up, everybody? What's up? What's up? We're about to get this war zone in. Essential players only. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, what's up? 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 This time of night is stream time. So I hope you guys join us. Twitch.tv slash Gilroy Gaming. We'll see you in there. But until then, I'll be back. Look, look. Eliza, Eliza, Eliza's having a, a cousin interaction over FaceTime. Look what this looks like. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she's on the FaceTime with her cousin and she's literally geeking out about it. <laughs> Just go, play, have fun. Welcome to morning, it's morning time. Streams always last till pretty late, so I kind of just, uh, you know, once I'm done, it's it's pretty much procedure at this point. Uh, I finish the stream at like one o'clock and then I'll come in and have a little snack and then we watch a, a show and then we go to sleep. And by that point it's like three o'clock in the morning. Is anyone else's like sleep schedule totally jacked up? I know for a bunch of people like the essential workers, those of you who still get to go to work, um, everything seems, you know, business as usual. But for people who can't go to work, it's it's very different. It's very different right now. I just bought myself some time to take a shower while she's on FaceTime with her cousin. Babe, I'll be back. I gotta go out. Raining. You know, it's really strange to be out in public right now. Uh, it's super eerie. And the rain and cloudy gloominess doesn't help, but I'm uh, I'm here at the bank to drop off my mortgage payment, which is a little more stressful than usual. We're modest people, the Gilroys. Um, so I'm just saying, this this part I don't really like, but I like having my own house, so. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. Also, the dogs are out of food, so we gotta go pick up some food for the doggos, and the place where we get their food, it's uh, we get it from Tractor Supply Company. They got curbside pickup or something, so you don't even have to go in the store. I'm literally gonna just open the back hatch and let them toss it in. Thanks, see ya, six feet please. <laughs> I'm telling you what, if you haven't bought stock and hand sanitizer at this point, bad move. Oh, look at gas, a dollar seventy to a gallon. What? Might be a good time to fill up on gas, dude. I have not seen gas that low for a while. I feel like such a rebel doing this. Forget your road close sign. I'm going. Oh, how bad I want to go in that Wendy's and get some spicy chicken nuggets. I have not had any fast food for like. Mm, a minute, a good minute. This is really strange, dude. It's really strange to be like out in the public and 
just the way people are acting. Very different from when this all started. And get this, I left the house and didn't even have to get out of my car. In the movie Ready Player One, the setting is Columbus, Ohio, which is really strange. And if you think about it, all the people spend all their time in the virtual world. They work in the virtual world. That's how they make their currency. And like, put that to today, like, is it possible that we could be working towards a real life Ready Player One? Well, I think it's uh, the perfect time to wrap up this video, guys. It's uh, another gloomy day. I think I'm gonna get this finished. Probably do some cleaning up in the garage and then go live for, uh, on Twitch here in just a couple hours actually. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Don't forget what you think about you bring about. So keep your mind in a positive place and we'll see you very soon.